Good evening, everybody. Nintendo could pretty well, actually. It's probably good afternoon for you guys, because the video is going up at the same time as it usually does, but, uh... Through the fire and the flames, here we are. At the foot of Old Smokey. Now, before we actually make any real progress here, because we wouldn't want to do that... I'm taking a few notes from Twitch Plays Nino Cooney here. I'm gonna go get a treasure, actually, that's outside of the thing here that I missed, so now that we've done that, we can get back to what we were doing. So, how's everybody doing today? It's a lovely, uh, what is it, Tuesday? It's Tuesday evening. Tuesday for me. For you guys, I have no idea what day it is. There's some new monsters in here, so might as well jump right in here and check out what we got. <clears throat> So I kind of made a mistake and uh, sold off my bone swords, which I really shouldn't have done, because now that means I'm stuck here with the flame sword on the fire mountain, where most of the monsters are already fiery elemental, and holy crap, did I seriously get one of those? It doesn't even matter, because I got nobody to use it on now. <laughs> but hey, at least I got the HP refill. So... In some cases, I may need to switch out and use some other monsters, and it would make sense for me to do that. In fact, here's something I've needed to do for a while. Let's take a look at my tricks here. I got room for, you know, tricks, and I haven't been adding any. So over here is all the tricks that my might can do. Now, Fling Flame is basically an MP attack, but since his magic attack is not really that great, it's not really that useful. So, Pebble Pelt is pretty good, I'll put that on. And Smash Hit is good too, although it uses a lot of MP, so... Sand Blast might be better. I think I am gonna go with Sand Blast. So, uh, let's take a look at some of our other guys. This guy's already got something here. I'm not sure if he has, like, alternate... Yeah, he does have a different move he could be using. Hmm, reduce his enemy's defense. No, I think I like the Halitosis better. Probably won't be using that too much. And then this guy... Whoops. Um, has Drowsy Drops, which is, puts an enemy to sleep. But I really wanted to give him this. And what I actually wanted to do was give him a Water Bomb. Because that'll help against some of the enemies on here. And I haven't really used this familiar at all. You know, I've picked him up and I've been leveling him up. And now he's already metamorphable and I haven't even used him yet. So it's like, what's the dealio here? Let's see, Sharpener increases attack. But we could actually change that. Pebble Pelt, I really like that move. I don't know why. Just something about it. I see monsters. Okay, this guy's good. You're making some noise there. Physical damage? Uh, well, his attack is not really that great, so... Probably be better off to do this. I don't know. Maybe if Esther gets bored, she'll start putting enemies to sleep. I don't know. But in the meantime, now that I finally got that done, maybe I can try showing off some of my other familiars. I don't know if Lansoon is ready yet, but we'll... We might try a little bit with him as we head up the mountain. So I can actually start to show him off a little bit. In the meantime, I'll just throw out my might. Like I always do. Once we get down to one monster. Oh man, these guys are doing some pretty good damage to us here. Okay, here we go. This will be, this will be a chance to try it. So, let's try Water Bomb. Here we go. Or we could not. Because Patrick could kill him first. That would be just fine. No objections there. None, none whatsoever. If I really wanted to use Water Bomb, I should have just sent out Yoshi from the beginning, right? So, there we go. Patrick's still metamorphable, too. So, yeah, at some point, I'm going to have to get some stones. I'm not sure. There must be somewhere that you get, like, the stones for the level 2. Holy crap, it's another one of these guys. This pile of nuts and bolts ain't budging an inch. You reckon the heat got to it? Come on, Ollie boy, no sense trying to make friends with Scrappy here. Scrappy, is that a Skyward Sword reference? Heck if I know. I love looking at the sky. See, this is what I wish you could do, like, in Final Fantasy VI. I don't know, I just think it would be cool. What are these candle lights? Very creative design there. I mean, I don't know what's so creative about it, but have you ever seen a plant that was on fire? 
that continue to live. I don't know, a candle plant, basically? I mean, I don't know. There's more of them over here. These look like burning cow lilies or something. <laughs> if they're burning, they're definitely probably awakened as well. So, what do we got here? Now, let's, let's go ahead and try another familiar here. Let's do this from the beginning. I think Yoshi's strong enough to handle himself out here now. Boom, check out that damage. It's definitely better than what your might could do, since the little bighorn has a really high defense. So you see, if I attack him normally, straight up, it's not going to do much good. On the other hand, I use Water Bomb, that consumes MP, so... So you want to use that pretty sparingly. Nice like, only use it when you're really in a pinch. Because, I mean, you, you can carry around the MP restoring items with you, I guess, and you could hope for, you know, MP glims to drop, too. I don't know. There we go. Lansoon just gained another level. Good on him. Let's see what we got in the treasure here. We got a moon drop. That's good. Yeah, in this area, enemies will actually start to drop the drops. And by drop the drops, I mean the drops that you need to metamorphose your uh, familiars, so that'll be good. We'll be looking mostly for star drops, though, because that's the kind you're usually going to need. At least that was the case for me, anyway. Just about every familiar I got, it was a star drop, star drop, star drop, is what you needed to uh, evolve them, so... I ran out of those real fast. I had plenty of the other types. The moon drops, the planet drops. I had plenty of those. But it was the star drops, man. Just couldn't, uh... Yeah, we might want to... Get a healing touch going here. Now, let's get back to what we were doing, shall we? There we go. If I would have just stuck it out for like two more seconds, I probably would have been okay. And I just didn't want to take any chances there. 69 experience. Oh, yeah. Of course, Esther would gain a level when you... Never mind. Uh, let's see. You only touch, you only touch. Yeah, we're doing all right. Well, Esther's doing better than I am at this point, I tell you. All right, so which way do we go here? Left or right? Let's go left. Some more candlelight. This looks like it's probably the way forward, so let me actually check the other way. I want to make sure we get all the treasures on the way up here. Because once we get to the end of this, you know... I mean, we could make a second trip up if we want. Actually, no, this is the way forward. My bad. Getting all kinds of turned around here. Probably should have studied a map before I came here, but oh well. I wasn't thinking. Hollow Balloon? Have we seen that guy yet? I don't think we have. I are not going to see him for very long here. Oh, smash hit. That's my move. What are you doing using my move against me? And yeah, nothing too special about this guy, as far as I can remember. You see a lot of monsters in this area start to use, you know, more fancy moves than you're used to seeing. Because up until now, they mostly just physically attacked us. And the only real special moves that you saw were, like, from bosses at this point. There was a planet drop there just now. So, as you can see, they drop different types. Different types of drops. All different types of drops will drop here. And I hate... I hate saying that, like, all different types of drops will drop here, because it doesn't really make any sense. It's like I'm trying to explain this game, but the words ain't coming out right, man. Flame robes. I would like to equip that on somebody. Most likely peak hole here. That'll increase his evasion. I believe that's evasion, plus three there. Oh, he can't wear it anyway. Really? That's a shame. Um, mist robes. Somebody who doesn't have anything yet. Let's see. Oh, I, was, I wasn't even looking at the flame robes there. I was looking at what he already had equipped. So this would go from 51 to 54 and 75 to 80. And resists fire. Yep, 
That's well, I don't know though, because I'm not gonna be using that guy that much though. Well, you know what? For the time being, he's probably the only familiar I have who can actually wear it anyway. So can we take like his old mist robes and give them to somebody else? Probably not. As you can imagine, a snake doesn't wear clothes, so. <laughs> kind of goes without saying, if you know what I mean. Let's get this treasure here. Phoenix Feather, which basically brings someone back to life if they go unconscious. Just like a Phoenix Down. Nothing too complicated there. Hopefully we don't have to use any of those, but, you know, if you do. If you do, you do. You know, it's not like... It's, I mean, don't feel compelled to, like, save those up. Thinking, well, I only got two of them, so I better not use any just yet. And wait until I have a bigger supply. I mean, if you have two of them, you have two of them. They're there for a reason, so if you need them, use them. Here goes Lance soon. Let's see if, uh... Yeah, see, he's not quite ready yet. He's still a little low-level. The thing is, that when he gets, like... When he starts to get leveled up, he starts to get really fast. And that's the biggest thing about him, is his speed. Let me get this over here. There we go. Just keep wailing on this guy over here. <laughs> I'm surprised my numbers aren't blue against him, because they should be. Well, unless he's weak to fire, and that might be the case. Alright. So, on up the mountain we go. Ain't no valley high, ain't no valley low, ain't a river wide enough, baby. Alright, lots of level ups on that one. Three different characters level up. What's going on here? Oh damn. Oh shit. What the? Th that was one huge tremor. Oh, Nickas, 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 Nickas. What's wrong, Mr. Drippy? The big one is on the way. I can feel it in my lantern. This old boy's about to blow. You can actually tell? Of course I can. I'm Lord High of the Fetties, ain't I? Well, can we open some sunny jobs with the likes of you, man? We have to hurry. We have to stop it. You know wrong way we blow the window. Come on, dude, I'm here. <laughs> oh my god. Just listening to Jesse Cox do Drippy's voice in those streams with Gerard. He is so freaking good at it. Oh damn, we just got us a little big horn. Leave it to me. <laughs> and just like that, we caught ourselves a little big horn. I don't know if I'm going to use this guy or not, because as far as I understand, Little Bighorn has a really good defensive stat, especially towards the end of the game. So he might be worth training up, I don't know. I took one with me on my second playthrough, and I, just to be honest, I really wasn't that impressed. Eh, Biggs, really? I was tempted to just keep that name. Little, Mascara, Mascara, Horner. Alright, I got the name for this guy. Boob Sting. Yes, Boob Sting. Boob Sting is now your familiar. All right. Bum, 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 bum. I'll be there in a hurry. Cause baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. On, All right. We just tamed ourselves a deep fry, which is good. Cause we're gonna need him for a side quest later. Once again, no spoilers here. Why am I attacking with Oliver? I have no idea. We pick it. Let's pick up these limbs, man. I tell you. Whoo! All right. Eh, nothing new there. We're all kind of in the middle. There's a star drop right there. Okay. Uh, keep the deep fry sure. Let's do it. Oh, great! I got to come up with another name for this guy. I think I've caught one of these before. All right, I have made my decision, and this is it. Balls Deep. Are you sure you want to call the Deep Fry Balls Deep? Yes. Balls Deep is now your familiar. All right. So, you know what? We need to do this now. I keep forgetting to do this in between battles. I'm kind of getting my ass kicked a little more than I expected to up here. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go in here and evolve this guy right here. I know he's going to take a star drop, so yes, there we go. 
And he's going to turn from a Seed Sprite to a Sprout Sprite, which is really not going to look too much different, so don't worry. He's not going to get all ugly or anything. Yeah, see? Yoshi's so happy. Jeez, I almost forgot to say that. Man, it's time to feed again, isn't it? It's time to feed on the souls of the dead here. I might as well go ahead and do this. At least for what little bit I can, anyway. I'm not going to be able to feed everybody, but... As long as the option's available to me, I should do it. Man, all that, and I can't even get his magic attack up by one. That's okay. And these stats, by the way, they do carry over. So, um... That's just worth noting. If only there was a way that you could, like, just feed your familiars everything. It's like ten chocolate bars all at once, instead of having to do it one at a time. Because that's really annoying, I gotta be honest. Man, ten ice cream cones later, and he's not even, like, he's barely just gotten halfway up there. So I'm kind of starting to see where it might be useful to, you know, give him some other stats. Like attack, I should have really won with attack. Well, I only had one chocolate bar anyway, so... I also found out that for whatever reason, this guy specializes in evasion, which doesn't make any sense at all. You would think he would be a magic attack familiar. That seems to be his best stat, but... But evasion is his favorite food, so go figure. Apparently he eats a little faster than the others, too. So you see he goes through his animation a little quicker. Which is kind of nice, I guess. He's gonna go 34. Okay, that's good. That's good. I got no use for pie. I really don't. I mean, unless accuracy, like, doubles that speed or something, which I kind of sort of just got the vibe that that's what people were saying in the chat at Gerard's stream, but I don't know. I might be wrong. Alright, there's Yoshi's first level gain as a... you know, since his evolution, so that's good. And his magic attack's jumping right back up there again. Just keep an eye on your map so you know which way to go here. Sometimes, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. So we have a waystone. You might be thinking, hey, coming up on the boss, right? Well, not really. <laughs> oh, hello. You know what, actually, oh man, as much as I hate to do it, you know, I'm up to 25 minutes already, so... And I've been accidentally letting these videos get a little long as of late, so... In the next video, we'll continue up the mountain and hopefully have us a boss fight. So see you guys then.